This is how to crochet the puff stitch. The video moves a little bit fast, but my goal is to show you the foundation of the puff stitch itself. So for this swatch, I'm going to start my foundation row with the fourth chain from the hook. And there I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop three times until I have seven loops on my hook. All the loops together should equal the height of a double crochet. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one. For the next puff stitch, I'm going to skip one chain and then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop three times again until I have seven loops on my hook. This time I want you to watch my left middle finger and thumb. They are guiding the hook through the chain and then they are pinching the chain so that the loops are taut and the hook can guide through them smoothly. They also help ensure that all loops are about the same size so that you don't have random loops that are just poking out. For row two, I'm going to chain three for my turning chain. And because I want my puff stitches to be on directly on top of each other, I'm going to repeat this puff stitch in the chain one space of the previous puff stitch. And again, for this one, I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop three times until I have seven loops. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all the loops at once. And then I'm going to chain one to close the stitch. I know this video is moving fast, so I am going to include a tidbit on how to just do one puff stitch in slow motion. And I'll tag that in the comments below. Now for the other version of a puff stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop five times. I personally prefer this one because it looks better. However, it is slightly more difficult to work with because you do have more loops on your hook. And if you're wondering what that bump was in the yarn, that was the magic knot. It is a way to do a knot without having long um, ends. And uh, you can't really tell anymore after this, but I know someone's going to ask about it. So that's what the puff stitch looks like when you yarn over and pull up a loop five times instead of three for a total of 11 loops. And if you like these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I post them every single day on my page. And if you have any questions about this stitch, you can leave them in the comments. If I can't respond to them in words, I will make a video response. And I'll go ahead and upload the slow motion version of the puff stitch.